What up bitches and bitchettes, um, I'm actually topless, yeah my titties are out, um, yeah because I went for a run earlier and I'm still kind of cooling down, so yes I'm keeping off the camera even though I always keep off the camera, so I should actually inform you when I do step in front of the camera although you'll already know because I'll be in front of the camera, but anyway, it's beyond the point. Um, rounding off the Mega Drive collection or updating it to its uh, current status with all the uh, all the games videoified um, we have Decap Attack which was the last pickup that I got for the system so we're going to play this released in 1991 and then my Mega Drive collection update uh, no not update my mega drive videos Q, yeah, whatever you know what I mean I'll have videos of every game I own for the mega drive so we'll hit record and we'll slap this bad boy on now I believe this is a game that is on um, the Sonic Ultimate Collection um, I'm sure I played it before somewhere and I'm th pretty sure that was where I played it. Um, so options, we'll see if there's a... Yeah, we can get some extra lives. Um, so yes, it's a platform game. Platformer. And you play Chuck D. Head. You play as Chuck D. Head. So, uh, you attack with your head and the annoying uh, slopey was yep, so you can murder your opponents by dropping onto their heads Oops. yeah like that love that bitches alright um, they got that head thing that you can like ah oh, fuck Damn, that's frustrating. Yes, yeah, so you've got your little head attachment thing, whatever you want to call it, power up. That you can uh, throw at the enemies and that kills them. Alright, let's, let's try that again without dying. Graphics wise, kind of uh, basic, but um, no real complaints about them. Um, you know, the bright. Yeah, they basically set out what they aim to achieve. Um, everything's clear and visible. Music isn't bad. Not one of the most, uh, not one of the more memorable um, Mega Drive soundtracks, though, if I'm being honest. Some more shit. They things I can know can't land on them. Uh, clouds, unfortunately. So uh, run across there. Controls are very tight on this game. Uh, very playable game. Definitely recommend this one if you're into games like uh, obviously Sonic. Uh, Kind of reminds me a bit of the Taz games, except the controls aren't so wooden. The Taz games are always games that I, I play and I, I kind of think to myself, oh, these, I, I can't work out whether this is a good game or not. Um, so yes, if you like Taz games, I'd say you definitely like this. And there we've got to the end, and we get like a little Sonic style uh, end of zone tune, end of act, should I say? Jumping up and down, shit, dinner. jumping up platforms and 
all of that shit and disappear then. More death and misery. Nice that it lets you have more than one um, life so you don't die every time you get, you know, hit. Which is always frustrating in um, some old school platformers. Yeah, kind of most hits um, is kind of deal half a heart's worth of damage, and uh, you got three hearts. You can basically take six uh, kind of small hits from the enemies. Uh, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to get up any further here, so uh, I'll just fucking drop down. Surely there must be something down here. Some some other shit. Oops. No, I can't bother with my head. Oh, it's come back to me. Uh, can I drop down here then? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's the star. Oh, so... There must be a way of getting... Uh, over up. I thought that would go right there. Unfortunately, I didn't explore that enough first time around to know that I actually cannot. Man, I suck at this shit. <sighs> Bastard. There we go. Precision platform at its finest. I love this shit. Scooby Doo Be Doo, where are you? Turn from goat into bones now. What can I? climb up them somehow. They what the fuck. No, I don't need items, go away. So you got an inventory. Probably won't go into that in this video. Before we got to here, ah, can I actually reach that platform there? Ah, fuck, shit, stuck on the ledge there. Ah, nearly glitched out. It's always annoying on these uh, platforms. I don't know whether it's intentional or it's just, uh, memory limitation where you go off the screen and then the um, you know characters the enemies that you've already murdered uh, reappear well it's like the pig mask of uh, saw there free care Not really sure how. Do I just keep bouncing? No. Not sure how I bounce. No, fucking no. I can get up there somehow eventually. Um, fuck. Some shinobi. Shinobi type fucking shit. There's that one level on Revenge of Shinobi where it seems to take. Ages to make this one jump. Kinda like that, but for, for ages it would be like two seconds that it took in this game. You know what I mean, innit? And to all you haters out there, me don't give a fuck if you think that my video is this shit. And all I gotta say is, what is your video, innit? You get me, bled. Smack you in the face, you get it. You get it, you get me. You get me smacking in the face, in it. You get me. Chichi man. So yes, decap attack. Um, a polished um, early-ish Mega Drive. Oh, how the fuck have I ended up at the start? That is. That is just impossible, I've just gone round in a fucking circle. But yes, um, I believe that this is on Sonic's Ultimate Collection, um, but unfortunately I got rid of my copy of that game. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, a game that I sort of feel like need to pick up again, if not just for Streets of Rage 3, because it'll be a while before I ever, well if I ever do, um, pick it up for the Mega Drive, because it's uh, pretty pricey nowadays. Um, 
uh, I've seen that this game's on there. So if you want to play this and you want to play Streets of Rage 3 as well, then uh, pick that up for your Xbox 360 or PS3. Yeah, I got that right. Um, if you don't have any of them, then just get it for the goddamn Mega Drive and shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Climbing the ship. See, I, I assumed that there was a division between the level and you went up that bit on the left and it you went down the bit on the right, but no, you can go up either side to begin with. So, yes, deep, decap attack. Uh, definitely one for Sega platforming fans. Um, I find it playable, quite enjoyable, and I'm not a big platforming uh, fan, so thumbs up from me, it's a decent platformer.